Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. There is an undisputed fight on in March, and um, it's being overlooked quite wrongly, I think. It's actually the women's minimum weight, 105 pounds. Um, one of my legs weighs 105 pounds. You know, this, these are tiny women, and they're fighting each other. It's the undisputed title between Yocasta Valle of uh, Costa Rica and uh, Siniesa Estrada. Uh, Estrada is of Mexican descent. I think she's from East Los Angeles. Um, and both these women are action fighters, very, very much. And there is, would you call it bad blood? Because I think um, Siniesa seems more uh, indignant about her treatment when she was signed to Golden Boy. She's now with, with top rank with Bob Arum. But when she was with Golden Boy, she wasn't happy because she kept uh, calling out various opponents of which Valle was one of them and she kind of blames Oscar I think for not for not making those fights but she moved to in 2022 she signed with top rank and Oscar and Bob Arum um, I mean Bob Arum's had stern words for everyone in the past the sternest words but when it comes to making a fight if it makes sense, he'll work with you. And during the press conference, the kickoff press conference, Bob and Oscar were getting on great. And Oscar even gave uh, Siniesa a, a hug, said, you know, I want to let's poke, uh, smoke the pipe of peace. Um, in a post, the, the sort of post press conference interviews, Siniesa Estrada still seemed to be quite uh, irritated. She seems to have a sort of be in her bonnet about golden boy and the way she was treated whereas Valle was far more um in far more sort of uh, neutral uh, didn't seem to didn't seem bothered about um making it personal at one point during the press conference Valle through a translator said this isn't personal she's a massive star in Costa Rica so she feels she represents her country as well as herself but it's not personal against uh Siniesa. she's got the belts I won them and Siniesa said, oh, no, for me, it's personal. But I think that was more directed at Oscar and Golden Boy rather than Yacosta Valle. Although Valle has said, she's ducking me, she's ducking me. So they're ducking each other no more, apparently. Um, but let's look at these these two women's uh, records and discuss, you know, I'm not going to make a prediction at the moment because I like to wait until much closer to the to the date. The day is going to be the 29th of March, so it's the back end of March. A little while to go yet, but as we know, time flies. <laughs> I think that uh, it's going to be a tremendous fight because the matchup's really, really great. You're talking 105 pounds weight limit, tiny women, but of course, as with the smaller fellas, they throw a ton of punches at each other. And both these women are proven. Uh, Real action fighters, I can't see how this can possibly be a bad fight. I really can't. Especially over the 10-2s, which, you know, one of the arguments for 10 two-minute rounds rather than 12 threes is that the women have to start quicker, there's more action and so on. You can't you can't not get action from two 105-pound women going at each other. I mean, Estrada comes into the fight with 25 wins and nine KOs. And nine KOs in the women's game, nine KOs in 25 wins is... You know, that that's pretty good. I mean, that's over doing maths in my head. I was never great at maths. But that's over thirty three percent, about thirty five percent, maybe a little bit more. That's good. That's a good um, good knockout percentage. So twenty five wins, no draws, no defeats. Oh, and by the way, you may remember uh, Siniesa Estrada scoring what is actually the quickest KO in the history of women's boxing, which was against Miranda Adkins. She knocked Adkins out in seven seconds. I mean, you can see it on YouTube. She just walks across the ring and bang, it's over. I mean, it's, she throws a little combination. Adkins hit the, hits the floor completely out. Adkins came in undefeated, five wins, no draws and no defeats. But my God, she was completely inept uh, and has never fought again, quite rightly too, because this, I mean, if ever there was a case of a, a genuine world-class woman fighting someone who's a rank amateur, it was this. And, of course, we get this problem in women's boxing. You know, you'll know that this channel is a big supporter of women's boxing. But when you get to the top level, you've got some very, very good women. And then you've got this sort of dearth of talent beneath them where 
it's not difficult to pick up belts. But the, the flip side of that is that the in order to, to make money and to make a legacy, the best women have to fight the best women. You can't really duck each other, which is why you've got fights like this. So <clears throat> Siniesa Estrada comes in as the WBA and WBC minimum weight champ. 25 wins, no draws, no defeats. Your Costa Valle, um, same age, 31, slightly taller, about 5'4", I think, a couple of inches taller. Uh, but there's really nothing in it at all. And she herself is a long-time established champion. She's got 30 wins with nine KOs. And she's also got two defeats, both on points. And they were back-to-back -back in, I think, 2017 and 2018. Um, she lost to a girl in Japan, Fu Fujioka. I can't remember her first name. Fujioka. Um, that was her first defeat. That was over 10. And that was for the, the vacant WBO light flyweight title. And then the following year, 2018, she fought Tina Ruprecht, who was undefeated 7 at the time, and she uh, she lost a unanimous decision. Now, Ruprecht has been beaten by Estrada quite recently, I think, because Ruprecht, um, as with Yacosta Valle, dropped down to minimum weight, took on Estrada and lost. However, having said that, Yacosta Valle has, she is the current IBF and, let me get this right, the IBF and WBO minimum weight champ. That's right, and Estrada is WBC and WBA. Just about keep track of these things. And Valle has made, I think it's 10 successful defences of uh, the IBF title and four or five of the WBO title. Now, of course, again, you have to repeat the dearth of there is a dearth of talent that the gene pool, the talent pool in women's boxing is not great. But nevertheless, she's doing something right and she's beating undefeated girls as well. Um, she's fought in the US before, so coming over and beating uh, uh, what she thinks will be a win against Estrada, the thought of it won't intimidate her. Um, both these women, when they get in the ring, have fire in the belly. I mean, Estrada is quite a, quite a little sort of a little, not hot headed, you wouldn't say that, but she's she's clearly on a mission. Whereas Valle comes across as being more um, a little bit more, well, again, serene is the wrong word, but a little bit more controlled. A little bit, her emotions seem to be more concentrated on the fact that you know she fights for um, Costa Rica. I think she's originally from Nicaragua, but she she's grown up in Costa Rica, I believe. I believe that's the case. I know there's a connection with Nicaragua somewhere along the line. But anyway, she does all her in interviews in Spanish, um, which always you know, appeals to a huge portion of the Latin market. Uh, but Siniesa herself, she, you know, of Mexican, um, Mexican descent, she's got that Mexican fire in her belly. And if you, if what I strongly recommend you do is, if you want to know about these girls, go on YouTube and watch them fight because they are action fighters, real action fighters. And the idea that they're going to clash, it's... One for the diary, 29th of March. Not that far away. It'll creep up on you. Um, and I believe this is Oscar Valdez is fighting on the same card as well. It's a top-ranked promotion um, with obviously some input from Golden Boy. But anyway, make a note of this. Your Castavalle, the IBF and WBO champ versus Siniesa Estrada, the WBA and WBC champ, minimum weight, 105 pounds, teeny tiny women, all having a little row. That's <laughs> going to be fun. <laughs> See, I love I love the smaller weights anyway. I mean, I, I always say this, you know, about the men's. Uh, my, like my my favourite fighter at the moment is um, Noya Anoue, as, as a lot of people would share that view. But I honestly think that that this could be a you know a very 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 exciting fight indeed. So. Leave your comments below if you've got any. Uh, have you seen either of these women fight before? Hopefully you have. If so, give your opinion. You might want to give an opinion on who you think is going to win. I'm, not, I'm going to hold off for a prediction just yet. I haven't really made my mind up because it is a close one. It's a close one. Um, and if you think girl A or girl B, girl B wins, tell me why. What do you think she's got over the other girl? But this is going to be a tear up. All right. Looking forward to reading your comments. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, of course, hit the... Uh, the like button it takes a second subscribe and hit the like button why not all right appreciate it catch you later bye for now